Hi guys, welcome back to another Terraria video, but what to make the video about? So today we are really scraping the barrel by doing a very pointless yet interesting experiment and that is trying to kill a Terraria boss without doing any damage ourselves. My weapon of choice is Falling Stars, they are the obvious choice since they do so much damage and I figured I'd go for the King Slime as it would take literally forever for a harder boss to die from this method. So for those that don't know, falling stars have a small chance of falling down into your world when it's night, and if they happen to strike an enemy as they fall, they deal a lot of damage, we're talking like a thousand damage or something. But obviously, it's quite rare for this to happen since enemies are quite hard to hit when the star is so small. So yes, that's right guys, we're gonna be killing a boss with no weapons, just falling stars. So let's start from the beginning, day one. Actually, forget day one, let's look at minute one. So I spawn in the King Slime, I've loaded up my PS4, ready to kill many hours whilst I wait for this giant blob to die. But no, he gets hit by a falling star in the first few seconds. What? What are the odds of that happening? The Terraria gods must have known that I was recording or something because that is just ridiculous look. A falling star happens to fall exactly where the King Slime spawned at the exact right time. So crazy that this happened. So after this point I was thinking it's probably only going to take a few more minutes but of course the Terraria gods must have a twisted sense of humour as it took quite a while before the King Slime got hit again. It wasn't day 5, or 10, or 20, it was day 30, which is about 13 hours of waiting just for the King Slime to get hit by a falling star. What a kick in the teeth. He gets hit within the first 10 seconds of spawning, and then he manages to dodge stars for 13 hours. What is this game? So here are the final few moments of the King Slime's fight. He fought a noble fight, but ultimately, he was no match for the Falling Stars. If this video reaches 1500 likes, I will try do this with the Moon Lord, and we will see if it's possible to kill the Moon Lord without even touching him. Maybe there's a way to do it without using health hacks. That would be so cool to see. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I shall see you guys later.